Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're here today and I am so excited to bring you shopping with me to Michael's for fall decor. Fall is definitely my favorite season and I know a lot of you feel the same way. So let's get shopping. So the first area that they kind of had set up at the front was a ribbon display. This one caught my eye. I thought it was so gorgeous with the burnt orange and the cream. I love the gingham print of it. And then they had quite a few blue um, ribbons. So I'm not sure if blue is a trending color this year, but I did notice a lot of that. Mesh is also great for seasonal decor. I love to wrap this around a grapevine wreath and you can make your own really beautiful full wreath. And it's usually a fraction of the cost of what an actual wreath would be. And then I found this really pretty ribbon. I guess it's more like cloth cut into strips. And I think you can just tie this to make your own garland. So I thought that was really pretty. And then we kind of have this little wreath section. This wreath hanger caught my eye right away it's almost in that burnt orange brown color I thought it was so gorgeous and it really reminded me of fall so I'm definitely going to be picking that up Michaels typically has these little garlands every year. They just kind of change them up a little bit by Ashland. I think this one was so precious. I love all the colors with the eucalyptus. And then I love this leaf um, wreath. I think you could just add florals to it and really customize it and make it beautiful for your own style and home. If you like more traditional fall colors, I would say this garland would be beautiful with the acorns. I love just those very traditional fall colors like this wreath. I thought it was so stunning. And I definitely lean toward those more traditional warm colors for fall. I think this wreath was $50, which isn't bad. Typically Michael's wreaths can be quite a bit more. Um, but then they did have a lot of picks out. I feel like my Michael's was really stocked. I loved this pumpkin. I feel like like these are my colors for fall that orange brown and white to me it's just so cozy and I just always gravitate toward those colors I love these little velvet pumpkins with the gold stems I just think they're so beautiful for fall If you like to decorate with sunflowers, they did have a lot of sunflower picks. This one was $4.99, which was a great price. It was quite large. I never really use sunflowers in my decor, um, but I think they're so beautiful, especially for early fall. And this pick was also stunning with the pumpkin and just the brown. I love these little scarecrows. To me, they're just so cute and perfect for fall. You could stick these into a planter or add them to any little display. And they also had these little bags of acorns, little mini pumpkins and gourds. And these are great for bowl filler. I just love the color of this one, this kind of goldy color. Michaels did have a lot of these mesh baskets. I think they would be so pretty filled with pumpkins or gourds, just perfect for the fall season. And then I found these grapevine wreath um, acorns. I've never seen them before at Michaels. I thought they were so unique and pretty. I've definitely seen the pumpkins like these. They had these last year also, but the acorn was just so unique. I thought it was perfect for fall. They did have some more picks down from the other ones that I showed you guys, and these are definitely my style. Also, I've never seen this little pumpkin pick. It reminded me kind of a cozy sweater. I thought it was just so gorgeous. And I loved this brown fuzzy one. It almost is in that sweater material. I just think they look so cozy and pretty. And I have quite a few of these picks, just the greenery with the cream pumpkins. I think they're so timeless and classic. And I love greenery mixed in with my fall decor. I just think it's so stunning. These bright orange berries are so pretty. These would look just stunning on any wreath or just as filler. I also have quite a few of these little pumpkins with the white distressing, and I tend to lean toward these really warm, earthy tones. To me, they're just comforting and cozy. They had their usual little pumpkins and gourds. They have these every year. Um, I usually buy a bag of them. I find they're a little bit cheaper than buying them separately, but I love all the colors. 
I feel like my Michaels was so stocked. Like I said, it's really only the middle of July, not even, and they had so much decor. So I was really pleasantly surprised. I fell in love with this wreath with just this eucalyptus and these pumpkins. It's so simple and pretty. And I didn't see these pumpkins last year. I think they're new this year, just those grapevine pumpkins. And then they just added, it looks like a pick to the top. So I have these grapevine pumpkins, they light up. And all I would have to do, or you would have to do is just add a pick to the top and you would kind of have these customizable ones. Um, and I loved these three tier pumpkins. It looks like they took just some white pumpkins and added some florals. They were stunning. I think these would look so pretty on a front porch. Um, they were expensive. I think they're around $130 each, um, but I just thought they were so beautiful. They also had these ones um, in the lanterns, which were so different with the leaves and the pumpkins. And I just love how cozy and homey they look. They definitely used a lot of baskets in their decor throughout um, all the displays. I've seen florals in baskets, so I definitely think that's a trend this year. And they also had a lot of neutrals. I think these colors go together so well, just the light browns and the creams, the pine cones definitely feels very fall-like and if you're more of a neutral person this would be a great option. These were $80 each, so definitely a little bit more pricey. If you're ever looking for really pretty full garlands, I feel like Michaels definitely have the best ones. At least in Canada, we don't have as many options as the US does. So I feel like I always come here for my garlands. I loved this one. I'm not sure if these are blueberries or blackberries or grapes, but they look so pretty against the burnt orange. And then they also had this really pretty wreath with the orange slices. I love the dark green mixed with that burnt orange. And they also had the matching garland. I felt like the orange slices looked a little bit fake, but overall I love the look of this and it just added so much warmth I felt like. Um, so I definitely might try to do something like this, but make it my own at home. This wreath was another one of my favorites. I love the addition of these little raffia pumpkins. I did see these picks here. So I'm not sure if they make these wreaths in store, but it typically looks like they use all of their own florals in their wreaths. When I first seen this, I wasn't quite sure what it was. It almost looked like it was supposed to mimic like a hay bale, but then I read it and it was actually for a tapered candle. I thought it was so beautiful. It was $40. I love this little gather sign. This would be perfect for any little vignette, just very simple and cute. And I absolutely love these, these cute little, I don't know if they're dessert tins or trays, but they're just so pretty with the pumpkin design. There was definitely a lot of platters and plates, just a lot of kitchenware stuff that I was able to see at this Michaels. I love the pitcher with the measuring cups. And then just like I said, lots of plates and serving ware, really gorgeous and would look perfect for any fall gatherings or Thanksgiving. Each of the plates I think were $9.99, um, but I love this burnt orange with the blue. So when I was looking, I seen these cute little votive candle holders, and I know that I bought one so similar to this last year at Dollar Tree. These were $4.99, um, but I believe I almost had the same one for last year that was $1.25. So definitely check Dollar Tree. I've gotten some really cute things there this year. I'll have to share with you guys um, in an upcoming haul. Let me know if you'd like to see a video just with all the fall decor that I've purchased this year and kind of how I store all the fall decor from years past. Let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in seeing. This little acorn was too cute. I love that you can just add a little votive candle and it would just light up a space. And I fell in love with this Hello Pumpkin sign with the gold leaf. I think it's so beautiful. And I love anything that says Hello Pumpkin. All the cheesy fall sayings I just love. 
these little plates were too cute. It came in the cream, the burnt orange, and the yellow. I also loved these candle holders. This would look so cute just with filler even, or a candle and filler. And this big leaf bowl would be perfect for chips or snacks. I believe it was $39.99, which is a bit pricey, um, but I just thought it was so beautiful. I love the color. And then I found these little bless, thankful. They're basically um, just words, and you can put them across a plate at the dinner table. They were $14.99, and I actually bought these last year. I think they're so adorable. And this cup was just so sweet. I think this would be perfect for those fall evenings when you just want a warm beverage and just to feel all cozy. A lot of you requested for me to do some videos in store shopping, but talking as I shop, but it's so hard to do that at the stores I go to. There's usually so many people there. It's so loud and the music's blaring. So I wish I could do that, but I really have to do the voiceovers um, just so I don't get copyright issues and so you can actually hear me. And people might think I was a little bit crazy if I was going around and talking to myself. This little plaque is so cute. I love the little welcome banner. I don't know, it was just so sweet. And then they had these fabric pumpkins. The one on the left, I have a few of those that I got last year. I think they were just more of a muted orange, um, but I just love fabric pumpkins. You don't have to worry about them breaking. And these ones were so gorgeous. Again, in that almost sweater material. I love the colors, the size, the shape. To me, they're just absolutely perfect for fall. When I seen these tins, I was so excited. I love them so much. The pumpkin spice, pumpkin chai, and the apple spice tea. These look so beautiful on a kitchen counter and you can really fill them with anything. They're definitely one of my favorites. And then they also had a lot of signs um, just with those cute fall sayings. I used to be really into the themed signs and I still find them really adorable, but I have so many. I'm trying not to buy any more, um, but it's hard hard to resist every year when there's new cute decor out. You always want to snag some new pieces, at least I do, um, but I really need to look at everything I have um, before going too crazy with new decor. Let me know in the comments if you guys have started your fall decorating or when you like to start. I know a lot of people like to start in September, but here in YouTube, we always start a little bit earlier just to give you guys some inspiration. So let me know when you're starting. These cute little squirrels were just the absolute sweetest. I passed them up, but I thought they were just so sweet. I love these big pumpkins in the cream and the orange. They almost have like a speckled design on them. And I've been seeing a lot of these pumpkins stacked in groups of three. I think that's really popular this year. And as you can see, they do have a lot of signs. I feel like Michaels always does so. And they usually have some from last year and then they'll throw in some new ones also these little squirrel containers were so cute I love squirrels I remember when my grandma would have us at our house when we were little she would rescue them so I've always loved squirrels and these signs are also so precious I love the muted colors let me know what trends you've been seeing in some of your stores. Baskets seem to be a big trend. And these pumpkin patch wheelbarrows were so cute. I think these would look adorable on a porch filled with pumpkins or hay bales. I don't know, they were just so adorable. And this sign definitely was my favorite probably out of all the signs I've seen this year. It was just so pretty, my perfect sign really with the burnt orange, the cream, the gold. And then they had these really pretty glass pumpkins. I think they were, I'm trying to see the price myself, $16.99 each. But these are so beautiful. I love glass pumpkins. They're great if you don't have kids, um, but they're also just so beautiful. This amber color, I think it's one of my favorites for fall. How adorable is this little leaf that says grateful? This would look so cute on a shelf. Really, you could put it anywhere. I just love it. It's just so gorgeous. And then here's some of the florals Michaels has. They had so many. I couldn't believe how many florals they had. And I feel like every Michaels store is a little bit different. They also had quite a lot of neutrals for fall. Typically, I'm a very neutral girl. I love decorating with neutrals year round and maybe adding in one color 
color, but for fall, I really love the traditional colors. You can see the gorgeous wreaths that they had here, and then just all the stems, really in every color. I feel like the purples and the pinks are so gorgeous. I'm always drawn to them in the store, but I never really use them in my own home. Um, but I just think they're so stunning, and you can see everything was so well stocked. There was so much selection but unfortunately nothing was on sale yet. I was so tempted to get this wreath. I don't know, I thought it was just so gorgeous and dainty, but I did resist because I have so many and there's only so many spots I can put a wreath. Um, but they had definitely more um, of these garlands. There were just so many of them um, to choose from. It definitely would be hard. I'm not in the market for more garlands, but this wreath was another one of my favorites with the mustard, the burnt orange, and the green. I'm loving this green this year. I'm not sure. I am just find it really pretty for fall. And then I'm gonna move over to these glass pumpkins. These all were battery powered, and I just think they would look so beautiful in the evening, lit up. They also had a lot of lanterns to choose from, as well as some pumpkins with LED candles or like battery operated candles. They typically always have these trees, they're light up ones. I never really buy them, I think they're really cute though. And then they had also these really pretty lights. I love the ambience of lights. These ones were sunflower ones, they were so cute. They had so many to choose from, they had leaves like these ones. And then they had these really cute ones in mason jars. So I feel like if you're really trying to cozy up your space, definitely add candles and twinkle lights. They just bring so much coziness to a home. As you can see, they had tons of sunflower decor. I feel like they've had this for a month or more now. So I don't know if they bring this out earlier than the rest of the fall decor. Um, but yeah, like I said, I don't really gravitate toward the sunflower decor, but if that's something you do, they definitely have lots of options. And this little centerpiece was so cute. I thought I could replicate something myself just using a wicker basket, um, some candle holders from the Dollar Tree, as well as some picks, but I love the look of that. So this section of the store definitely had all the more traditional colored picks, which is really what I gravitate toward too. I think it just reminds me of growing up. Some of my best memories were waking up and just my mom would always have something really good cooking and we'd have pumpkins out and she always just made every holiday feel special. So I just love to do that now, even though I don't have kids, it's just me and my husband and my dog, but I feel like you should just do what brings you joy. And just decorating the way that my mom kind of used to brings me a lot of comfort and joy and just makes me feel like she's close by. So I'm definitely loving all these very traditional colors. I typically don't talk about my feelings much um, because I want to keep the channel really happy and just a place where you guys can come to feel peaceful and relaxed. But it's definitely been a bit of a harder month for me with my mom's birthday. It's always a hard time of the year. And around the fall, she started getting sick um, before she did pass away. So it's definitely a really bittersweet time of the year for me. And I've definitely been feeling sad this year, but just being able to bring you guys content and decorate for fall helps keep me distracted. So I'm just so grateful for each and every one of you that do that for me. I'm just showing you a few of these fall picks. I love these ones with the little pumpkins. I have quite a few of these ones. Um, just because they're so neutral, they kind of go with anything in the home. So I'm really loving those. I really wanted to buy a lot of these stems. I was so tempted, but I held back. Let me know if you guys are buying new decor this year or just using mostly decor you already have or just adding a few new pieces. 
I typically just add a few new pieces, otherwise it can get to be a little bit too overwhelming. I did buy a few stems of these. I thought they were so gorgeous. I was really drawn to them. And I also loved these stems, um, the white with the brown in the center. I thought they were so pretty. I had to check out the candles. They usually have really pretty candles as well as really great smelling ones. I love these little pumpkins. I thought they were absolutely adorable. These would look so cute just in a little votive holder. I almost wouldn't want to burn them because they're so adorable, but they had so many to choose from. Ones that look like little apples and leaves. Um, they always just have a lot of really unique candles. I love the ones that look like they have wheat in them um, or grass. I think those are so cute. These little turkeys would be adorable for Thanksgiving. They had mushroom ones and then just a lot of tapered ones and just the regular pillar ones. They always have these candles in jars with really yummy flavors and they switch them up seasonally. They had pumpkin pie, hot buttered rum. They had so many of these and typically they're around $9.99 but they always have them on sale. I always find they go down to $5 or maybe even less and they always smell amazing. I can smell these throughout my home and they last a long time. They had the wax warmers that coordinate it with the candles if you do like to burn them those. I love wax warmers. Um, and then they had these gorgeous candles in these really beautiful fall colors. I was really drawn to the wood ones. I thought they were so pretty. Um, I just love the packaging and this one smelled amazing cinnamon and pumpkin. So definitely we'll probably be getting that one. And then they had their usual um, candles. They had ones like this last year with the wood tops and these ones all smelled amazing. I think this was pumpkin rum chata, um, pumpkin pecan. They had so many flavors and they all smelled amazing. Definitely so much to see at Michael's. If you guys love to shop in store, I would definitely recommend taking a trip. Um, but I hope this kind of gave you some inspiration and ideas. And until the next video, friends, take care. God bless.